Richie. So as you may have seen from the quick little intro that we did, we went thrifting again. Mm -hmm. But this time we went thrifting for jeans. Valley Village was having a 75% off sale on denim jeans. We just Yo. attacked. We attacked it. We went ham. Yeah, this video isn't sponsored by Valley Village. We just happened to go there a lot because there's a lot where we live. So we're gonna haul all the jeans that we got from Valley Village and we're gonna show you guys how we distress our jeans or how we kind of like DIY our jeans. Just to make it look more edgy. Yeah. And we like our jeans loose instead mm -hmm. of it being like tight. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but I don't know, we kind of like it. And we have our skinny jeans. This is just an alternative. I don't know, it's really breezy, comfortable, mm -hmm. and it doesn't like ride up your butt as much <laughs> or constrain your, your blood movement. circulation. Oh. This DIY is like super easy. So what I did is I cut the bottom of this jeans um, to the desired length that I wanted, usually like above my ankle, yeah. um, just cause I don't really want it to look like capris capris on me. So a tip for you guys if you really want to distress them is to run the blade of the scissors on the jeans. And you can also use sandpaper to kind of like taper the ends to not make it like look too perfect. Also throwing it in the wash helps oh, a lot yeah. too. That was a good one. But we, we didn't do that yet. We washed them before we wore them, but we didn't wash them after we distressed them. We're definitely gonna do that later on. It will give it more of like a natural kind of yeah. effect, like Richie. How would this naturally come about? Well, I'm just <laughs> thinking, know. like, would someone just cut your leg off? <laughs> what? I actually have some as well, and this is from the brand Kirkland, which is like, I don't know, Costco, Costco. or whatever. I initially bought these just to wear like really baggy and stuff, but then I realized that it was way too baggy, so I was just like, I'm just gonna raw cut them and make them kind of look like denim culottes. Yeah. I actually featured them on our spring lookbook, and yeah, so they're just these Kirkland jeans, and they're acid wash, and I just did the same exact technique that Richie said. So the jeans that we didn't do anything to, um, just because we like it how it is. Are these Levi's dark wash jeans? I absolutely love the fit, the length on me. Mm -hmm. It just fits so nicely that I just really didn't want to cut it. Um, and so what we do is we just fold the bottom like so. You can fold it another time if you want <laughs> or whatever. Um, but what Cassie likes to do. Oh yeah, so I got these. These are also from Levi's, I believe. They're super acid wash, and you can tell like someone has been like skating in them or something like fell on their butt because like <laughs> it's like distressed a little bit over here. But I kind of like that edgy yeah. look. But what I've been seeing a lot on Tumblr is that people have been rolling their pants up like super high, maybe five inches, like this. And I kind of like the look of this, like with maybe sneakers or something like that, or even booties. Um, it really depends on how you style it. But if you guys want to see how we style these jeans, then give this video a thumbs up, and maybe we'll do it for you guys. I know a lot of you guys wanted like a shorts kind of DIY, and it's really, really easy. All you have to do is mark off where you want to cut, and then what I like to do is fold it. And so with this pair of Calvin Klein jeans, it actually worked out really well for me because the thigh of the jeans were really wide. <laughs> um, I didn't want it to be too tight, especially if you're rolling it. And these are kind of more like boyfriend jeans rather than like booty shorts or something like that. And I think it's just a lot more comfortable for me at least because it doesn't like ride up and I feel more comfortable wearing them. And I also wanted to make another pair of shorts. I actually cut this a little bit longer than the blue jeans because I wanted to add distressing and I wanted it to really look like they were boyfriend shorts. And this is from the brand Guest Jeans. And yeah, so how I distressed these jeans after I cut it to the length that I wanted and rolled it up was that I got a hard object, which was a CD case, and then slipped it under the leg of the jeans. I like to use an X-Acto knife rather than scissors because I feel like I'll get a straighter line. And then just made like a couple of parallel lines and then used some tweezers to just pull out the little fabric-y strings. <laughs> the jeans fabric. I don't know how to explain it. And I just like basically pull it out so that I'd get the desired hole with like the strings going from one end to the other. I don't know, I'm really bad at explaining things. Also what I did was, I did the same thing Richie did. I ran a bunch of scissors to like the top of the hole and to the bottom of the hole and then I used sandpaper to just 
make everything look natural. I fell on my lap, you know. I don't know, but yeah. I don't even know, like you don't even... <laughs> I fell on my lap. <laughs> She fell off the <laughs> Oh my god. Doesn't even make sense anymore. Like we're delusional. Make... And lastly, we have jackets as a bonus section of her haul. We found, actually Richie found both of these. Yeah. So yeah, I actually found these Levi's jackets. Like, cause Cassie really needed a denim jacket that's like loose fitted. And I thought it was like perfect for her. Cause I already have one. So I was like, okay, Cassie needs one. So... She thinks of me. I mean, we do, I do. <laughs> <laughs> this one is actually Levi's as well. I was so excited because it fit me so nicely. Like, it's really baggy and um, this one has pockets, so really convenient. I'm gonna wear it too. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, so this is how it fits. It's pretty baggy, which I like because I am tall. Jeans! We love jeans, guys. We They're love so jeans. Much. But yeah, 75% off that. Like each of them was like a dollar, I think. Yeah, like literally, the total came up to like maybe less than thirty, less than thirty yeah. for everything, which is awesome. And yeah, for us, we shop at the men's section just because it like fits our body well. But if you're a little bit more petite, you can go for like the little boy section. I know my friend shops there sometimes, or you can go for the women's section. Obviously, there should be some jeans just go scout for them and maybe you'll find some so i hope you guys found this video helpful and i don't know inspired you guys to cut your jeans up <laughs> <laughs> okay um yeah we're That's a little delusional today now. for some reason but i mean it's like what time is it right now like they don't need to know no it's not Wait, it's 1 it oh what i thought it was later Alright, anyways, we'll see you guys in our next one. Bye! Raw. Cut it. Cut it. <laughs> <laughs> Agreeing with you. <laughs> Casey and Cassie. Just give this video t a thumbs. Wow. Thumbs like the, Tums, the digestive, digestive. pill. <laughs> <laughs> Work. <laughs> <laughs> My mom has an indigestion. Are you having fun? It's taking you taking a really long time. I respect people who do DIYs all the time. How do you do it? Oh, I don't want to wave. Bye. CK, <laughs> hashtag MyCalvin. <laughs> Anyways, we'll see you guys in the next one. Anyways, we'll see you guys. Wow, you're good. <laughs> okay, go. Bye. Anyways, we'll see you guys in our next- No. Killed it or not. <laughs>